<clears throat> Yo, dude, I just witnessed the most insane break I, I've ever been a part of. Easily. I mean, <laughs> four Jason Dominguez hits. Uh, pretty much everything but an auto, to be honest. It was uh, pretty legendary, to say the least. That was crazy. I, I don't even know what to think right now. Like, I want to rip into this package. But I'm like, I'm dumbfounded, bro. You have two blasters. Two blasters. Ripped this in the pack wars last night <clears throat> for dish duty. Very nice. And I actually just hit one in that break, too. So now I have two. Nice little come up. I'm trying to locate. <clears throat> just trying to find something. And now I just can't figure out what I've done with it. <clears throat> So I think, without further ado, I will go ahead and show you guys. Didn't have a chance to catch it. Did a sponsor video. Did a sponsor video for uh, Syed Ahmed Card Breaks. Fellow YouTuber. Um, and... Baseball pack puller. I believe we've got a total of, I want to say, four tens. I really like these tens. So I was like, yeah, make sure you ship those tens. Love to have those. And they were really hard to find. They're still hard to find. I still haven't seen one since. <clears throat> He went his own route with the packaging, as you can see. Yeah, girl. All right. So, well, actually, let me show you first. So, I've got the Bellinger. Yeah. Bellinger. I've got the Vlad. Junior. And I've got the Mookie Betts. See, when I first started, those were like the only things I was getting, and they were always there. <clears throat> Kept packaging in there. What I'm going to do with these, actually, is I'm going to put them like on the wall, like this sort of. You know, once I get a bunch of them, but I'm going to make. I'm either going to make it to where you can just take the lid off and put cards in there, you know, as kind of like a display, or I'm going to make like a door on them, put a little hinge over there. So shout out to Syed. Thank you for sending the tens. It's like all four tens. He should have stuffed some cards in these probably. Got all this in one, but that's all right. I shoot, I'm living and learning myself. So, oh, that was a open. I don't know if I showed you. So, we have Darren Judge, Pete Alonzo, Mike Trout. Sweet. This looks like another Vlad Jr. So I think this is the first one, and then we got three others after which he was there. He told me to pick out which ones I wanted. So I let him know the ones I didn't have yet. So just to grab any of those. 
pretty cool video too. You guys can check it out and pulling all the cards um, in real time over at Cyanamed Card Breaks. <clears throat> all right. So I believe, yes. Looks like this pack up eight of. I don't know what that's. Oh, that's supposed to go on top. That's why. I think I'll probably get rid of those plastic. I don't know. Let's see here. I don't know. That's a little too tight for comfort there. Probably have to get rid of that. Put some kind of like little, uh, what I was thinking is just put one of these. Little stands probably get a little nicer stand or something, you know. Card in there, kind of like so. Kind of display some cards off. Maybe even put some kind of stickers or something around the player. I don't know. Got a lot of ideas to do with them. Just don't know exactly what I'm gonna do just yet. <clears throat> so. Let's go ahead and see what's on here real quick. Bring you guys down to my view. Um, Rockus, Trout, Wonder, Cruz, Kata. There's a nice rookie, Alzalei. <clears throat> There's Garrett. There's gold. It is a gold. That is a nice numbered Mirror Garrett. Nice and gold. Sweet. Josh Bell. Pirates Chrome. Miguel Cabrera Chrome. Got a couple of Vlad inserts. We got a bunch of those. Some Turkey Reds. We got Cole Bellinger Blackman. Jimenez. There's a Kino rookie. There's a Matt Thies rookie, 85 throwback. The decade's best Andy Pettit. Put that on the side. Yomer Sanchez. Castillo, Strasburg, Bregman, Chapman. The boys are actually asleep early tonight, so I actually got a nice little peaceful. Beautiful night. Love it. Couldn't ask for a better evening. I mean, not gonna, not that I would uh, want every evening to be like this. That's for sure. But it's nice to have one. Very nice to have one. Cubs. <clears throat> I couldn't believe. I'm still dumbfounded about the four Dominguez hits, man. That is crazy. Kid has been sitting on that break for a minute, too. Like, I bought three spots in it like weeks ago. And I kind of just figured it was probably a wash. But he got a guy at the end there to buy all of the rest of the remaining spots, which there was like 16 remaining spots. And I, well, he was selling them at a deal too. I think if you bought two, you got them for $3 a piece or it was $6 per team which is actually higher now than what it was when he posted it. There's a nice Tatis Jr. Gold Cup. Throw that over there. Oh, there's a nice Bo Bichette rookie. Okie doke. Kipnis, Goodrum, and the Gonsolin rookie card. All right, so, man, I really like these. Really, really like these, actually. Uh, da -da. throw all these in there for now. Nice number of cards. The rookies. Let's take out Bichette and 
Yes, I got C, so the keto. All right, keep the tips up. Nice stack of rookie cards over here going. We will uh, <clears throat> probably end up doing some kind of giveaway or making maybe making some kind of uh, some kind of pack or something. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided. So, let's see what's going on in the big world. Yeah, the kids actually woke up with me when I went to work this morning, so I knew they were going out early today. <laughs> then I, I seen Autumn coming down the stairs. Boy, I knew she was mad at 6 30. But we have that on them uh, long jobs, you know. That's what they say. All right, so this is actually going to be a combination of all of the other three tens. And then I believe there's two fire packs. So we got a little bubble wrap. Actually, let's show that. Nice bubble wrap. <clears throat> Never have enough bubble wrap. I'm actually going to have to. Uh... Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, my God. Guys, I bought a blaster off him. I forgot I bought a blaster. Oh, what a pretty thing. What a pretty, pretty thing. Okay, we're going to hold on to that. Not going to rip that tonight. We are going to keep our little hands on that one for, uh, I don't know. We've also got, oh, he put them all in a. Yeah, maybe he couldn't. <clears throat> he could have. He could have put all these cards in the tins. He put all these cards in the tins and then ship that box in an envelope. Probably maybe a little, little cheaper for the next go around. So, come down to my angs. So, sorry, I had a little work sitch there. Anywho, so these are going to be a combination of the three tens and there's my little sponsor, Joker's Tribe Card Pools card. So three tens and two packs of tops. Fire. We're going to save these for the end because they are, I'm guessing, the nicer. A couple other top loaded cards in there. So, I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> Might as well do this while we're here. Rikio Dubon, nice rookie. Bryce Harper. Base, Castro, base, Yamamoto, rookie, base, Giles, base, Glass, now you say Kikuchi, Mike Rock, a gold cup, Adam Frazier, Tommy Edmund, future star, Josh Hedgley, Blake Parker, Shane Green, Sterling Marte. So, guys, listen, um, Thursday. We've got, uh, so this past Thursday, I don't know if you guys got a chance to check it out, but we did the uh, Cherry Pack Review, uh, mystery, little mystery pack from uh, Cherry Tree Cards. You can go with either the 
stars pack or the rookies pack. I, if you check out our page last Thursday, we did the rookie review and it was awesome. We actually ended up hitting one of the chase cards, Mike Soraka gold rookie card. Very nice stuff. So I'm just kind of scamming through these because you guys don't want to see all these base cards. I'll try to show you like the nice um, rookies and future star chrome cards, what have you. They may already be, well, they're not separated by rookie cards, but it's a rookie. Roger Leo Armenteros, Matt Olson. Lester, Jackie Bradley Jr. No, thought that might have been a short print. There's a Nico Horner. Justin Turner, Oscar Mercado, Future Star, Brad Hand. Some Turkey Reds, Jimenez again, Contreras, Brinky, Verlander, Bell. Couple of Reese Hoskins inserts. Oh, there's a nice one. It was 85 throwback Noah Syndergaard. Really like that one. <clears throat> Chase Anderson, Christian Stewart, Jose Arikidi. There's a Larry Doby, 1950s decades best chrome insert. Schwarber, there's Benintendi, Hernandez, Santander, Fires, Peralta, Javier Baez, Merlander, Gonsolin, Kittness. Sonny Gray, there's a nice Tatis Gold Cup. A lot of comments there, but that's what you, you get what you pay for with these tins. What up, Trent? How you doing, man? I'm actually uh, ripping open a... Uh, I did a sponsor, a couple different sponsor videos on Med card breaks and uh, just going through. Um, I've got the hits here laid to the side. I'm kind of just going through the comments and sorting out the inserts and the rookie cards. Nice Jeff Bagwell, Decades Best. I have that card actually. What you up to, man? Dude, I was just in this break with this dude on Instagram, this kid. I mean, he's a young kid for sure. He had two blaster boxes, and it was uh, <clears throat> $6 a spot. Louis Jimenez, it's a nice gold cup. I don't think I have that card, actually. Um, anyways, it was $6 a spot. Pick your team. And uh, he had been trying to fill it for weeks. Not a whole lot yet. I'm actually just ripping into um, – I got two packages. Um, four tins. So I'm going through the cards from the tins. I actually did a sponsor video for Syeda Med Card Break. So he actually opened the tins on his page. And, uh, you know, now he's shipped out the cards, so I'm getting the cards. Dude, yeah. So, dude had two blasters. This kid had two blasters, right? There was four Dominguez hits, two paper, one chrome, and a spanning the globe. I shit you not, two blasters, four Dominguez hits. I mean, I hit up, I had the Indians, the A's. And the Orioles, I said it was six bucks a spot, even for the Yankees. So it's crazy, man. 
Yeah, it was like unbelievable. There's a nice Max Kepler number to 2020. There are, and actually, speaking of, that was also in the package from Syed. I grabbed a seal blaster off him. I'm not going to open that tonight. We've got some solo cellos back here, too. Um, I'm actually, I work in Cleveland fiber, but uh, no, I live about an hour south. It's about an hour drive for me to work. Like Lucina. Decades best and an Aaron Judge 85 throwback. Decades best. What up, Owen? Owen actually won the uh, our 500 subscriber giveaway on Twitter. He got the Aaron Savali rookie card, which I believe he got in the mail today. I'm pretty sure he emailed me. Oh, do you really? That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, speaking of Frankie, this is probably my number one. I got in a uh, tribute break. The uh, tribute to uh, great hitters. Number to 50. Number four out of 50. Pretty nice. I've got a... Uh, I've actually got a handful of Savali rookie cards. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. I also had uh, – so I did three different tri uh, tribute breaks. So the first one I did, I paid 25 for a half case, hit that. The second one I busted on. The third one, I got in on another half case break for 26, and I hit that tribute to great hitters, and then I hit another. Um, hit another one of those, actually. So now I got two of those. Bunch of Bobby Bradley rookie cards, too. Matter of fact, in the hobby break we did, I had the Indians. I actually had to eat a lot of teams because – I only sold about 15 spots, so I ended up eating the rest of them. But I ended up hitting that nice Bobby Bradley rookie out of 50. Auto. Extremely lucky. Hey, you're welcome, Owen. Appreciate the support, buddy. <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Lindor 2019 tribute. Those are sweet too. But yeah, the Savali, uh, got them right here. I've got four of them. At, well, I've got three now. Oh, and got my fourth one. So is that the one you're talking about? I got Bradley too. And Logan Allen, I think the gypsy queen autos. Yeah, I don't have any numbered. I don't think. No. Nope. Just the well, just the rookie of the year one from the 2020 Bowman. Back down here and show you guys. So I'm kind of just there's a nice Mark McGuire. That's gonna be a nice one here as soon as this uh, documentary comes out. Mark McGuire. Well, I don't think it's gonna be worth anything crazy or anything like that, but Mark McGuire cards and Sammy Sosa cards are gonna go up for sure. Oh, here's horizontal. You got? Do you mean just regular any rate like all Lindor cards or like rookie cards or just a mix of everything? Could be, <clears throat> could be last year's. I just actually got into collecting um, a few months ago when this quarantine stuff started. To be honest with you, and. My job makes it pretty easy for me to be able to, uh, <laughs> I guess, research and study everything I need to know. There's a nice Vlad Jr. 2020 decades next. Nick Pavetta, Chrome.
Yeah, I'm pretty much the same, dude. I uh, I actually don't have his actual rookie card. I have like the home debut card, a couple of those. Um, then I got a couple, you know, the three autos, and then I've got a, you know, I've got some <clears throat> short print cards, and then I've got a lot of like common base cards or whatever. I don't know how many exactly, but I do, I do like keep his uh short print cards and autos and all that together. <laughs> you had him sign it in person. That is sick. So not sure if you, you uh familiar with like the Indians prospect, uh, Nolan Jones optic. Nolan Jones actually <clears throat> That's awesome, dude. I actually got to meet uh Sandy Alomar, Omar Vizquel. I want to say Albert Bell too, but I'm not 100% on that. I just remember those two for sure. I was a kid. My dad used to get season tickets to the Indians game. He was actually an Orioles fan, but you know, we grew up here he grew up in Washington, like, well, not Washington, but D.C. area. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so we would always go to all the games and basically uh, we sit right behind home plate. Well, one time he got us uh, dugout passes. And uh, we got to go down and meet the guys before the game. I mean, it was un unbelievable, unforgettable for me as a kid, you know. <laughs> and I, uh, this is actually going to be the first year that uh, I work for the Browns. I do uh, fan experience surveys for the Browns. So I'm real familiar with, uh, you know, all the workers basically over at the Indians because they, they all work like for the Indians, Cavs, Browns, season long, most of them that are – Really, that's all. I have to just, you know what? Like I said, I just started collecting, so like, I literally have no Sandy Alomar cards. But I'm gonna get on eBay, and I'm 100% doing that. Thousand percent. Appreciate that. Good looking out, bro. I've been hearing people say that. Like Jabs was saying earlier, Al Kaline. You know, before he passed, he would he would uh, do that for anybody that sent him a. <clears throat> a letter or whatever. Oh, really? That's cool. That's sweet, man. It's fun, ain't it? You know, you get the you get the experience, you know, of being like at every single home game. It's pretty awesome, especially when they're winning, which isn't often. It's a nice number to 2020. That's the third one. Uh, Yasiel Puig for the Indians. There we go. Good try. Nice chrome. Turkey red. And a Monte Irvin. Chrome decades best. So the last of this box, before we get to the hits from all of this, we've got Tops Fire. Franchi Cordero. Trevor Story. I love these cards. Paxton. It's 2019 Tops Fire, by the way. Jeremy Marquez. Yeah, this is Fire Trent. I'm, I'm opening, a, like I said, this is a, I got a, I did a sponsor video for Syed Med Card Breaks. So I'm actually, uh, he sent me the package. I also bought a, Blaster, 2020 Bowman Blaster off him. He might have some more, actually. Not sure. I did pay 35 and then, like, a couple of days later, I think he said anybody subscribed to him, he'd charge 34 so if anyone's interested. Uh, the blue cards are the blue tick. Um, some blue tick something. I, I can't remember exactly because this is actually my first. I don't have any fire. These are my only fire cards, but I know they're called like the blue tick or the blue diamond or something. They are actually like an insert, special insert. 
So I probably should have ended with those. I actually also, there were two Corey Seager cards as well that were blue tick. But one of the kids that was watching the stream said he was a big Seager fan and asked how much I wanted for him. And I just told him, so I had to send him to him if he didn't mind. So he could have him because, I mean, he, he would like him more than me. You know what I mean? So, all right. Now the hits from the little sponsor there. That's a Yadier Molina short print. I think that's a super short print, matter of fact. A little dusty. Pretty sweet, though. All tatted up in his Jordan Blues. Dude, that'd be awesome, Fiber. Seriously. I think I could even I would definitely uh, hook you up for that. He's got this Jesus Lizardo top loaded. But... So here's the probably the best hit of the Sponsor video. Actually, there's a few in here, so I'll save that for last. Flat Gold Cup. Bobachette rookie. There's a nice Mike Trout Chrome Turkey Red. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. What where are you at? What's your name on uh, Facebook? I'll send you a request because I'm actually like uh, I'm one of those guys that has the joint account with the old lady and never on there. It's under our kids' names. So, Gavin Lux, Turkey Red. I actually set him to the side earlier because I wanted to get his little Yordan. And here is the hit I've been waiting for. Nice Derek Jeter, Derek Jeter orange fire. Chrome, and that is actually numbered to 299. If you can see that. 55 out of 299. Somewhere. There you go. So that's definitely sweet right there. That'd be awesome, bro. Tom Kingswood. I'll search you right now. <laughs> T-Rex? Yeah, for sure. 100%. All right, T-Rex. I just sent you a friend request, bro. All right. Well, tell you what, just because, just in honor of that four Dominguez hit, I'm going to Grab a lucky pack. And I'm going to smash this cello out real quick. And then I'm going to jump off here and straighten up these cards and kick back and watch a little TV, I think, for the rest of the evening. Trevor Story. Javier Baez. Ryan Reynolds, Brian Reynolds, not Ryan. <laughs> Jeter Downs, I think I just pulled this same pack last night. Brennan Davis for the Cubs. Hollison, Rollison for the Rockies. Come on, come home to me. Uh, there's Christian Pache, though, that's pretty nice. Chrome, the Braves. And a Logan Gilbert Chrome for the Mariners. Zarda or Loreno. Yastrzemski and Willie freaking Adams. All right. Dang it. That was my shot. No dice. Let's stick these chromes to the dome. Oh, oh. I 
I got so much crap to organize and get out of this. My goodness. I'm buried. I'm buried right now. Yeah, completely buried. All right. Well, I think I'm going to jump off here, guys. Oh, was that you dinging me? That's all good. I actually got a, um, as you can see right here, got a Thriller Thursday building up here. So if you get a chance, check out my this past Thursday's video. I did the I did the review for the cherry pack from Cherry Tree Cards. It's twenty five dollars. I did the rookie pack. They also have a stars pack. This is going to be the stars pack. We're going to do it Thursday for Thriller Thursday. The rookie pack was this past Thursday, and there was some straight fire in there. We ended up hitting one of the uh, chase cards, which was uh, Mike Soraka gold. Thursday's your birthday. That's what's up. Hey, definitely getting birthday shout outs if you're here, man. If not, I understand too because it's your birthday. So, well, thanks for coming through, Fiber. I appreciate it, bro. Um, everybody else that came through said, hey, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so if you guys ain't subbed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100. We're at like 70 something, 72, I want to say, coming in. 41. Hey, man. I just turned 30 this year, so it was, you know, I'm on that turning point, I guess you could say. Yeah, buddy, I appreciate that. I think I I think I subscribed to you too. If I didn't, I'm going to right now. I didn't, but I just did. Oh, we're like right at the same subscriber count too, man. You do any videos on there? Nirvana, yes. Hell yeah, I can get down with some Nirvana for sure. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to jump off. Go check on the kids. They've been sleeping for a little while, so make sure they're all right. I love Nirvana too, man. I read, uh, I read, uh, why does this escape me? I read, um, damn it. I just had I just drew a complete blank in my head. Um, <laughs> oh my god! What is his name? Oh, what's the lead singer's name? I, I'm I'm at a complete loss for words right now. Kurt Cobain, right? Yeah. Anywho, I read the autobiography and I read the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, shit, what's his name? Damn it. I read his autobiography too, and it was insane. I mean, that kid was doing lines from like 12 years old. Nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. His dad was like buying him strippers and stuff. It was crazy. <laughs> Wild. Kurt Cobain, yeah. Yeah, I got it at the end there. I just drew a complete blank. It's a wild story, man. Kurt Cobain, for sure. Trumpet solo. Oh, I bet that was epic. In Rio? So you was there? Or you just watched it? I bet that was pretty fucking epic. I can't keep cussing. Love these tops fire. Those blue tick cards or whatever they're called are sweet. Doesn't say on there what they are. I know it's like blue tick or something like that. Something along those lines. Oops. What I do? Sorry, I'm blocked your comment. Yeah, send me that on Facebook. Be sweet. I'll freaking play that right now as I'm organizing these cards. That'd be awesome. 
Oh, it's a famous show. Oh, in Rio. Okay. Halloween in 93, where was that at? Was that in Cleveland? That's pretty crazy. I've been to one concert in my life, dude. And that was uh, Chris Stapleton and uh, Hank Williams Jr. Like two years ago. Oh. Oh, I think I already pulled that on. Oh, shoot. So these are all <clears throat> comments. Akron. That's dope. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. To them guys partied so hard. Can you imagine just living like a day in their shoes? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> that's great. Inserts. Yeah, I don't even feel like doing this tonight. Probably not going to. Oh, were you? Yeah, that uh, it sounds pretty epic, bro. Like one thousand percent. I would uh. So you've been to a million concerts, basically, then. I love concert. I mean, I don't count like because there's a there's actually like a festival. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of Nelson Ledge's Quarry Park. I'm sure you have if you're you're into professional music because uh, do a lot of shows and stuff out there. Well, I live like five minutes from there, so I've been to many of. Uh... Have you? The last 11 years, huh? That's like a tradition at this point. <laughs> yeah, I live like five minutes from Nelson Ledges. Well, maybe 10. <laughs> maybe 10. <clears throat> I haven't been in a couple years, though. So. Yeah, that those were the those were the days, huh? What was that? So that's that's 25 years ago. <laughs> Dude, they're, I mean, their shows are pretty kick ass. For sure. I go out for bad fish usually every year and then uh, try to sometimes hit the Halloween gory at the quarry. It's pretty fun. Um, some of the other shows I really, I really like, I can really get into going out there to like the dubstep stuff. I don't really know anything or any dubstep music or whatever, but I can get down to those beats. It's like crazy. And the atmosphere is just so electric. Like I don't dance and I'm dancing out there during that stuff. Homestead Falls. I know where you're at. Yeah, for sure. I work right off Lee Road there in Maple Heights. Pretty much. It's technically the address is Cleveland, but it's Maple Heights really. Pretty much a hundred percent Maple Heights. There's that guy I'm going to look for. The Grog Shop? I've heard of the Grog Shop. Is that on Facebook? Yeah, I bet it was. It's ghetto. It is ghetto. I'm scared to go to the gas station. I don't think it was, boy. <laughs> It's a scary, scary, scary place. Well, I don't know if it's scary or not, but I was just, you know, you know how it is, I'm sure. So here is my haul from, well, I don't know. You can't really see that. Yeah. I bet it was, man. That place is, you can just tell, like, 
I wouldn't want to be a cop there. I, I actually drove by two cops there today. They didn't have their heads up. They were like just sitting there. They were doing construction. I don't know if those are actually cops or security or what, but they definitely weren't giving any shits. Did not want to be there. Hundred percent. Definitely did not want to be there. <laughs> I believe that. Hey, I hundred percent believe that. I gave. I actually. Uh, and I just, I don't know. Some, I'm a good person. So, like, one day I seen this dude walking down Lee Road, and I was leaving work. And uh, he uh, he was carrying, it looked like he, it, there was a cop that had a car pulled over up the road. I could see it. And then I see this guy's just walking. He's carrying, like, two heavy, heavy, heavy toolboxes. You could tell he was struggling. He looked like an old man, you know. And I'm like, I'm going to turn around and give this guy a ride. So I turn around. I give him a ride. This dude's drunk. He said he just got pulled over, and I'm like, how did you not go to jail? Like, you reek, bro, you know? But I gave him a ride. He only wanted to go right up the road, thank God. But once you get there, he's like, oh, can you run me to the store and this and that? It's like, dude, come on. Hey, I gave you a ride. That's it. It's the end of the road, and I got to go. <laughs> I just got off work. I'm not running you around town and taking you to the crack house or whatever you want to do here. Wow. Holy shit, dude. I guarantee it. They probably were, dude. I mean, he, yeah, it is 100%. And the car was get, like, the car didn't have no license plates on it. had a wooden bumper on the front of it. I could see it from where I was pulling out. And I'm like, I wonder if that's that dude's car. Like, I didn't know it was his for sure because he was walking on the other side of the road. But it just looked like. Definitely some crackhead shit for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. I live pretty close to Warren, so I definitely uh, have seen my fair share of crackhead shit too. <laughs> I know, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I should never even pick the guy up. I was just like being a good person, I guess, that day, and it really could have turned around. You know, that could really not be good for somebody for sure, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, and then you, and it's your car. Yeah, exactly. Trust me, I've actually been there. I was with my own. I actually was like underage. I was like 16. I just, I was watching my little brother's football game. No, I was 18. I was 18. I was watching my little brother's football game because he was like a junior or whatever. And I was actually up visiting from West Virginia. I, I lived there for like 10 years, but uh, I, my uncle calls me on after this football game. He's like, Hey, come pick me up at the bar. You know, I need a ride. So I come pick him up and uh, you know, I'm like, I got to get gas and at the time, the only gas station was like, you know, the next town over or whatever. So I drove to the next town and I noticed as I take one of the turns, a cop, you know, he pulls around, follows me. Then he pulls me over as I'm pulling into the gas station. And I noticed like my uncle is going crazy, like paranoid as shit, you know, and just like flittering around. And all of a sudden I seen him, I was driving an old Cadillac at the time. And at the top, top part of the car or whatever, like where the, rear view mirror would be there's like a little almost like a stash compartment you'd call it we well, stick something in there and there's a baggie sticking out and i'm like and then did, by this time the, the cop behind, was behind us and the spotlight was like literally pointed right on that and i'm like dude what the hell was that you know what up bailey telling a crazy life story here but anyways <clears throat> back to that crazy story next thing you know the cop comes up and he's like hey pulled you over because your license plate lights out i'm like oh shit i had no idea okay have you been drinking no i'm only 18 i actually just left the football game ah can i ask you to step out of the car <laughs> like like i smell alcohol and i'm like yeah it's probably my drunk uncle that i just picked up from the bar you know and i got out did the field sobriety test and passed them or whatever <laughs> Then they want to search my car. And I had just seen my uncle do some crazy shit. I didn't know what to think. 
So I'm like, well, no, I don't want you to search my car. You just pulled me over because my light lights play light was out. I'm in a hurry. I got stuff to do, you know, kind of one of those. And the guy's like, all right, we'll just hang tight. Next thing you know, the, they bring the dog in dog does a couple at, at during this time, they got us handcuffed. I'm on the freaking parking lot handcuffed on the ground. Yeah. I mean, I understood that he smelled alcohol. I wasn't drinking, so I wasn't worried about it, but I was worried about what the hell he, he had done there, you know? <clears throat> so they pull us out. They put us, they put us like, they put us both on the ground at first. And then as they find something in the car, they put me in the back of the cop car and then they pick him up and they start questioning him. <laughs> now I'm in the back car. He's going crazy with his hands, you know, doing the whole, like, ah. I'm like, what the hell is going on out here? Well, next thing you know, they come back to me and they're like, you know, step out of the car, step out brings me to the hood and he's like do you know what this is and it's obviously cocaine I, I you know i just i know what it is he showed it to me it's on the hood of his car and i'm like yeah you know cocaine it looks like <laughs> you know and he was like was it yours and i was like well, no i was like dude i don't do cocaine you can drug test you know we can go drug test me right now you know i don't care i haven't drank i don't do no drugs let's do this thing you know i was actually going to drink that night that was my plan but yeah. So anyways, long story short, the finger was getting pointed at me because it was my car, you know? Well, I start flipping out. Like I'm going to beat my uncle's ass telling this cop, like, look, I'm going to fuck him up hundred percent. And he's like, well, I got to put him in the back of the car with you. And I was like, you put him in the back of the car with me. I'm going to headbutt the fuck out of him, you know, basically. And, uh, he's like, Oh no, you can't do that. Blah, blah. I was like, go ahead, put him in the back of the car with me. Well, he ends up putting him in the back of the car with me and he starts crying and saying, oh, I'm sorry. I gave him another name. He gave him my other uncle's name, too. Like, it was all a mess, man. It was crazy. So anyways, he's flipping out in the back car. Well, we get back to the station. The one cop's like, hey, come out and have a smoke with me. I'm like, I don't smoke, you know. But he said, well, come out and talk to me anyway. So I walk out with him. He's smoking. And he's like, hey, uh, you know, I. I just want to give you a chance to get out of this thing. You know, he's like, what do you think about doing? Like, uh, if I took you somewhere and dropped you off and had you go buy some marijuana, I'm like, what do you mean? You know, like oh, this is even like, nothing is mine here. Like we're both under arrest. Eventually he's going to sober up and hopefully man up on this. You know what I mean? And the next day, hopefully I'll get out, whatever. It was my first time ever being arrested or anything. Like I was scared. But at the same time, I wasn't about to go get dropped off at some random person's house and buy weed for a charge. I don't even know what I'm being charged with at this point. You know, and he's asking crazy. Well, so then they go to put us back in, in the – goes to put me back in a holding cell. And the other cop comes out and goes, hey, man, you got to hear this. So they pull the recording from the back of the car. They were recording the whole conversation. And they got my uncle admitting to the stuff and everything being his. And he's sorry. And he gave him the wrong name. All kind of craziness. But anyways, they ended up PR bonding me. I didn't get in no trouble or nothing over that. But that was lesson learned on that for sure. 100%. Dude, you know, Fiber. And like me and him are even still really close to this day. And I don't know. I don't know what to think about it, though. I've always, in the back of my mind, thought, like, I don't trust this. You know, <laughs> you riding with this motherfucker. So, yeah. I mean, even to this day, he tries to say that he didn't say it was me, but I was in handcuffs and in the jail. You know, 100%. I was going to take a charge with him because he wouldn't admit to it. I wasn't going to claim it. It wasn't mine. And there was even residue under his – when they pulled him out, there was residue under his seat, I guess, and not under my seat. So, like, the cop was like, look, I know you're telling the truth, but it's your car at this point. So, yeah, it's crazy, man. I bet you could. I bet you got them off for days. <laughs> I got to get off here. I got to get, get up here and check on these kids. But, hey, it's been real. Thanks for coming through and chopping it up, man. Definitely going to have to do it again. Uh-oh. 53-year-old guy, two 12-year-old dressed like, oh, my God. That's 
Man, that's like a – I don't know how it would be to feel to be a cop in that situation, but for me, like – yeah. All right. All right, Fiber. Yeah, I got to go get the stuff clean. Do the dishes, man. Wife's at work. I got to do it all. Brogues went to sleep early tonight, Bailey, believe it or not. They woke up with me at 6.30 this morning before I went to work and woke mom up. Yeah. Yeah, as a cop, for sure. I mean, especially with what's going on in the world today, man. This shit's crazy. It's wild. I'd be scared to be a cop, really. I don't know. All right, bro. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll catch you guys probably tomorrow. Take care. Peace.